everyone, so today I have an ASOS haul for you and I think I'm just going to get stuck straight into it because I have quite a few things to show you here. So I got carried away on ASOS as is very easy to do and I kind of got quite carried away with summer things. Although it's been so rainy here in England at the moment and summer really doesn't feel like it's coming, I kind of went a little bit mad for the summer clothes. So there's lots of light denim here, lots of white and blue and um, I feel like I need to go on holiday now. So speaking of denim, let's just go straight ahead with some jeans that I picked up and I always go for a pair of white denim jeans in summer. I love white denim. I think it is just the summeriest thing. And I'm such a massive jeans wearer. I wear them all year round. So I like to have a special summer pair. And these are actually the Farley style. And they've first become one of my favourite styles of jeans. They're high waisted and they're kind of along the lines of mum jeans or girlfriend jeans. They're just a little bit more fitted. They're kind of similar to the Topshop mum jeans, which I love, um, but a little bit more stretchy actually. So they're kind of good if you like a stretchier jean. Personally, I do because if you're eating a big meal, these do stretch out and they still feel very comfortable so I absolutely love these I have them in so many colors now but the white ones are my favorite at the moment they're also a really nice white they're almost a little bit off-white which at first I was a bit unsure about but actually when I compare them to my really really white jeans they just look a little bit more better quality the denim is nice and rich and a bit thicker and these also don't go see-through which is amazing because white jeans do run the risk of being a little bit see-through but these don't do that um, so I really really like these and then I also picked up a pair of embroidered jeans and uh, these are definitely not something that I thought I would be picking up in my 20s. I definitely had quite a few pairs of embroidered denim jeans when I was younger but they're back, they're back on trend and I have to say I really really like them. These are probably one of the more subtle pairs of embroidered denim jeans that you can get. They basically just have these little flowery motifs on the pocket so it's on both sides but the rest of the jeans are just normal denim, there's no embroidery on there and I just think these are a really cute way of adding a little bit of colour. I'm not a massive lover of colour at all so just having a little kind of pop on the pockets um, and then wearing this with just a plain white top or something very plain I really really like so I'm so into these I kind of want to add more and more embroidered denim to my wardrobe which I never thought I would be saying in terms of the fit these are actually very kind of skinny skin tight jeans I think they're actually the ASOS Ridley jeans which used to be my absolute favorite pair of jeans until the Farley ones came along but they're still a really really great skinny jeans so I really like that they come in a good style as well as super cool embroidery. And then also while we are on the subject of embroidery, I bought an embroidered denim jacket. Again, something that I had probably in my youth that I never thought would be revisited. But these are everywhere at the moment and I've really wanted to kind of customise my own, buy a few patches and kind of iron them on. But there are so, so many of these embroidered denim jackets already on ASOS so I decided to pick one up. This is actually from Glamorous and I really like that this one had quite a light wash denim. I'm not really a fan of the darker denim jackets, I think the lighter ones work a bit better. I'm still not sure on this so let me know what you think guys. But I'm getting really into this whole trend so um, it has really pretty kind of pastel embroidery which I think is what drew me to it. There's a little pink butterfly on there um, and on this arm in particular is really really pretty. It's also a very oversized jacket, I actually bought it a size up as well because I wanted it to be quite big and baggy so I think a denim jacket is a great thing to have in summer. If I come round to it, if I decide that I really really love this, I think it's maybe my perfect kind of throw on summer little jacket staple. Okay so let's talk about a few of the tops that I picked up. There's a very big theme running through all of these that most of them are off the shoulder tops and they're all in this really pretty kind of floaty material. I think this is one of my favourite things to wear in summer this material because it's so light and it's just really really cool. So this one is actually from Pimkey and it's just a plain white top and it has this kind of rough going all the way across it and then these little kind of pom-poms on the lining. I love little pom-poms, I think they're so cute and really summery. I've actually worn this top so much it's been glued to my body um, so I think this is going to be one of my favourite summer tops. It's actually quite long as well which I really like. I prefer it when tops aren't that cropped. I like something that's a little bit longer, a bit swishier. And then something kind of similar, I also got this on ASOS but it's from River Island. Um, again this is a white off the shoulder top. This one is a bit different because it has this kind of elasticated stretchy band that kind of holds it into place on your shoulders and uh, this one is long sleeved as well so it's a little bit longer. I think this is a beautiful beautiful evening top so I think I wore this with black jeans and a nice little bag and it's just a really lovely kind of light summery evening outfit. It also has this kind of very 
subtle embroidery on the front. You can't really see it that much, but it just adds a little bit of detail, a bit of interest to the front of this top. Um, and this one is a little bit shorter. It's still quite long, but it is a tiny bit shorter than the Pimki one. But I love this nonetheless. I think it is just so, so beautiful, so light and airy, and I just want to wear white all summer long. The last of the uh, Bardo tops is slightly different. This one is um, ASOS own brand. And this is a slightly different material because it's almost like a shirt material. What would you call that? Like a slightly stiffer cotton. And um, this is a little bit more structured than the other two tops. It's not quite as floaty. It sits in a slightly more structured way, but I think it's really nice as well. It's quite long too, which I do like. It has long sleeves, which I really think make this top. Um, I do tend to kind of roll these up quite a bit, but I prefer to have rolled up long sleeves than short sleeves. I just like the look of that better. And then at the back, it actually opens up completely. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, um, but it's kind of like a V shape at the back, an upside down V. And yeah, it just kind of floats open. It doesn't kind of show off too much of your back. And they do this in so many different colors and different styles um, and also different sleeve lengths. So if you like this kind of top, ASOS have so many different variations of them. The last top I got is kind of more of a cami top, I'd say. Um, and this is actually from Misguided. And I fell in love with the print and the pattern on this. It kind of just makes me want to be in Greece, be on some kind of Mediterranean holiday. I think it's so pretty and it has these really lovely little thin strappy sleeves, which I think you can make a little bit longer if you adjust this tie front bit here. Um, but I love the tassels as well. Anything with tassels just screams summer to me. And the whole thing is just really dainty and really pretty, but it also has a lining to it, which I think is so, so good. So it has this little white lining underneath. It kind of makes it a little bit thicker, so probably not the best for really, really hot days, but tops like this always tend to be see-through, especially white ones. They just always seem to be really thin material and really, really see-through. Um, so I think that's amazing that it has a lining underneath to stop that. Okay, I think we have one thing left. I have absolutely whizzed through this pile. Um, but the last thing is definitely my favorite. I am I am so in love with this. So this is a dress that I have had in my ASOS kind of saved wish list for probably about three months. I'm not sure it's been that long, but it's definitely been quite a while. Um, and this is actually from ASOS Premium. So it's a little bit more of an expensive piece as opposed to their normal stock. But I decided to just get it because I think this is gonna be my ultimate summer dress. This this year. Um, so again, it's quite similar to the things that I've been showing you already. It's white, it's made out of this really beautiful floaty material, but it has this amazing red embroidery on it. Um, and I'm not usually one to wear red all that often, but I love this. I think it's so different. It has quite a deep v-neck and then this kind of mesh netting, almost like lace netting. It's so pretty, which goes all the way down at the center of the dress and it's also on the sleeves. And it's actually a midi dress and I love midi dresses. I think they're the perfect kind of throw on dress, put a little pair of tan sandals on and a bag and you're done. That is a perfect summer outfit. And I think this one could also be worn with heels and really dressed up, maybe good for a wedding um, or some kind of summer party if you've got something coming up like that. So I love this. I'm kind of planning on all different occasions that I can actually wear it because I really want to get some good wear out of this one. So that was a quick little speedy summer ASOS haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And as always, I will have all those pieces linked down below in the description box if you want to check them out and see what they look like on the site as well. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye.